What up, it's Brandon here and welcome back to Blader News, your number one rollerblade news source. Now I've got some really interesting stories to talk about today, so let's just roll into it with some industry news. And the first thing I want to talk about today is actually a roller skating channel called Indie Jammer Jones. And the reason we're talking about this channel is because they just recently received a silver play button from YouTube. So if you don't know what that means, in order to get a silver play button, you have to have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And this channel has well and truly smashed that now, which is absolutely amazing and I'm pretty sure I haven't checked this at all. Pretty sure this has got to be the biggest rollerblade related channel on YouTube right now. Now YouTube didn't only send the silver play button, they actually sent us some roller skates as well. Uh, they were left over from a YouTube party, so it's not like they created it just for it. But it's cool nonetheless, you have these cool roller skates, they have the YouTube logo on the side. Now if you somehow haven't heard of this channel, uh, it's full of really great roller skating content. She can really rip the ball, it's really sick. Uh, and actually on her Instagram the other day, she was trying to do some souls over at Woodward down this down ledge and was getting absolutely rolled. But they've had way more dedication than anyone I skate with. So <laughs> congrats to Indie Jammer Jones. <laughs> this is a huge achievement and it's well deserved. And I can just tell this is gonna go even further. So here's to getting that gold play button. In case you wanna check out that channel too, it will be linked in the description, be sure to do that. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know about that cool thing happening. And another really weird old story now. A few weeks ago, a news story blew up around the world about a YouTube family selling a doll version of their newborn child. So this vlog family is called the M. Grimm family and they're selling this lifelike doll for 280 to 350 pounds, which is so much money. <laughs> now the reason we're talking about this here is because the father in this family is actually a rollerblader. Um, I found this out because I was watching a commentary YouTuber talk about the situation and they deep dived on the father whose name's Chris this is Instagram and they were talking shit on Rollerblade and I was like, what? But anyway, now Chris did make a statement about this whole thing saying this doll isn't a replica of their newborn child. It's just a newborn baby doll that has the same name as their child. Uh, but I don't know, that, it's still pretty creepy to me. But to talk a bit more about Chris, he does actually have a YouTube channel where he posts some pretty cool skating edits. Uh, the comments are disabled on them. I'm pretty sure it's probably from a much worse controversy he's ran into earlier but we won't get into that. Here's a link tree on his Instagram too, and the top link on it is Slater Game Forever, which is a VOD which isn't for sale anymore, I don't think, but I appreciate that. Chris is making an effort to give Rollerblade some exposure from his stardom and YouTube, and I really appreciate that, because Rollerblade needs it, obviously. But yeah, I thought I'd just mention that weird story. In my opinion, this is hella creepy and super weird, but the exposure for all lane is cool nonetheless. And that's it for industry news. As always though, I wanna pass the question off to you. Let me know what your thoughts are on those two stories. I'd love to know. But anyway, let's move on to everyone's favorite part of the show, product news. We're talking them for the third time. A new them boot has been confirmed and this is called the them 909. Uh, this is that completely skater designed boot mold that Julio was teasing in his new VOD coming out called Independent. All we know so far is that Solar is somehow involved and we're not going to learn much more until this VOD comes out. It's premiering in New York City, so if you're in the area, you should definitely go check that out. Otherwise, stay tuned like the rest of us. I'm hyped and I can't wait to see what this is. We've got some more skates too, and I think it's because I'm setting the trend for Navy skates. First off, we have Razors teasing a new SL Navy, which is just the standard amazing SL boot in the new Navy color. They've even leaked some pictures of the production, and apparently it should be all set to ship on the 1st of September. And they look so sick if you ask me. On the same Navy trend though, USD's released the Sam Croft Pro Aeon. Uh, it's definitely a different shade of Navy, but it's still Navy. And this is sick as well. It's a 60 millimeter Aeon. And you know, that boot is amazing. Still speaking of USD, away from the Navy trend though, the new USD Team Carbon came out and it's on the old trend of the cream sesame brown look. And it looks hella sick as well. USD always gets it right. And finally, it's still not out. But we've got a bunch more teasers for the new mushroom blading big block frame. I think release is literally gonna be around the corner. So I'll be following mushroom blading on Instagram so you don't miss it because I have a feeling these will sell out on the day they are available for purchase. And they won't be remade. So if you want them, I'd get on that right now. And sadly, that's it for product news. But now, let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media, you should check out. First up, we've got this fire edit from the steeziest 10 year old I've ever seen skating. Remember the first section I see this guy? I didn't think he could get any better, but damn, this is a starly edit. It does not look like it's coming from someone who's only 10 years old. I'm excited to see the future of this guy. Check that out, it'll be linked in the description. I know you're all scared about the steer roll for the Back to Blading Community Challenge, well, Shoptasters came in with the clutch with a two-part tutorial on how to steer roll. Remember to get your clips in. Anthony blessed us with this crazy concrete therapy video. 
where he's just flying around skating flat, making it look like he's skating anti rocker but making it look like he's on a BMX at the same time. Absolutely killing it. Highly recommend checking that as well. And as the final part of media, I want to shout out another channel. This is a channel that I believe deserves some more exposure and it's a channel called 30 and Rolling. The channel's full of really good, nice short little progression jams as well as some good explanations and even some trail skating. Uh, he recently just posted a video called Big Wheels versus Bigger Wheels and I found it very interesting and it really made me sure that I want to stick to the big wheels instead of the bigger wheels. Maybe it can help you out as well. Uh, so be sure to check him out too, he'll be linked in the description. And that's it for Blader News. As always though, I want to pass the questions off to you. What do you think of everything I talked about today? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember if you want to support the series, you can cop the official Blader News hat, mug or stickers. Or you can just subscribe, that helps just as much. But anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Huge shout out to my patrons. Adam, Kevin, Deb, Dennis, Fabian, Floey, Mark, Matt, Matt, Mike, and Tage. And I'll see everyone next week. Peace out.